Welcome back everybody. I hope you've been doing well. Today's video I've got something a little bit special to share with you guys. Um, this is a big, big commission I took on thinking it'd be a really easy task but to my own surprise and once again I think I've bitten off way too much than I can chew as the saying goes. Anyway, I got a message from a guy, he asked me last week if I could do him a commission piece and for his commission piece he asked if I could do the gorillas, the band, yes the gorillas, all four characters in my style and this isn't even a surprising question because if you look at my art style the amount of comments I get from people who tell me that my style is pretty much identical to the gorillas it's pretty much overwhelming. So um, when he asked I literally thought this is going to be so easy to do but to my surprise it wasn't and not only did I not stick to my usual structure of pen to paper, no, I decided to go the route of doing it as an oil painting. Now a lot of you don't know this but before I even start graffiti I had my own oil painting business. I basically went to college to learn how to do art yet they sat me down and said the first lesson I remember they said to me here's some rocks and here's a stick and there's some ink and I want you to draw those rocks using stick and ink. Um, and after that day I didn't go back to college. Instead, instead I opened up my own oil painting business where I would sit day in and day out painting people's babies or their pets um, with oil paints. So this is a long time ago since I'd done that and with this gorillas I figured what could happen if I took my old oil painting techniques combined with that graffiti style and just mutated the two together to find a final piece. I literally thought this would take me two days and it ended up taking me a week and I'm actually quite excited to share the process with you guys now. So sit back, get your popcorn, Michael Jackson it up, and I'm going to show you the process. Let's go. Before I even start this project, the first thing I'm going to do is look around my sister's bedroom for a credit card and buy myself a canvas. In normal conditions, I would just buy myself one, but seeing as I'm not one paying today, I'm actually going to order myself a family pack of four. A lot of people in today's art world like to think they're a lot better than everybody else, but remember that you're not, and treat your delivery person with a lot of love and respect. And now that you've secured a canvas, make sure you place an area of the room where it can look at you daily as a constant reminder of why you took this massive project on in the first place, while your anxiety slowly consumes you within. Spend the next three days of your life completely avoiding any tasks that involves with that canvas, whether that means practicing your bad boy breakdance moves or binge watching Asian cinema until you're fluent in Korean. Now you want to rinse, wash and repeat this cycle until your client finally reaches out to you to find out the progress on Z canvas. Because you're the master side of pursuing a career in the arts, you actually don't have enough money for a frame, but aha, there's a way around this. Grab your dad's masking tape and masking around the edges. This way you give the perception of a white frame when rarely there isn't one at all. Alright! After watching three hours with Jordan Peterson on how to stay motivated, you finally decide to sit down by your canvas and start your art project. And a sudden warm feeling emerges within yourself, and you start to realise what it is that you love to create so much. And then you start to become grateful that you didn't take that Bournemouth cancel job at cleaning the Bournemouth toilets for £5.50 an hour. We then make sure we use every morsel of that burnt umber, because if we don't, we will come to the realisation that that will A, mean we have to leave our house, and B, spend £4.50 and that's something we artists do not want. You now have your fresh cup of tea in your lo-fi playlist in the background. You start to feel a sense of pride like almost you're a part of a legitimate workforce and suddenly all the comments your mum, dad, uncles and nieces have told you your whole life about your art career literally going nowhere suddenly seem to slowly fade out the window. You then start leveling more pay on your canvas and 14 year old girl called Stacey does makeup on her way to the park to drink white lightning. After completing 0.5 of the painting you have sailed to do, that sudden anxious feeling starts to arise again as you come to the pure realisation that you have a very very long way to go. Now that day 2 has come along, you know you should finish off the parts that you started, but your tiny little monkey mind wants to jump straight to the fun bits, including the nose, eyes and mouth, neglecting any other area of the canvas which may be a priority. Just like your wife turned up to the strip club, the fun eventually has to end. And now all the less exciting parts that you have put off till this point come face to face to you with like all your sorrows and regrets. But you know what? You don't let a few bad apples hold you back on this. You push through. Do you know why? Because you're an artistic warrior. And then you finally get to the point where you can bring out your tiny, weeny little brushes and add all those small, minute details. And suddenly, just by putting a little line here and there, you transform it to a nine, to a solid ten. And now, finally, the time has come for that special part you've been waiting for, peeling off that lovely border. Right guys, all jokes aside, um, this whole process, the whole thing has literally took me 70 hours to finish this painting, start to finish, and that's no lie. It took me four days total painting, and God knows how many days to, um, to let the thing dry. It's been, <laughs> it's been a hell of a journey, um, that's for sure. Anyway, I'm gonna show you now the final result. Wait in hell. 
enjoyed the ride as much as I have been able to create it for you. As always at the end of my videos I need to thank all my patrons because without you guys none of this would be possible. Until next time, keep creating, hope you're all doing well. One love, peace. <laughs>